574 yard par five. Smoke that baby. I took that ball right over that tree with a baby draw, bringing it back in front of that pop bunker, hopefully. Yeah, I can see it from here. Well, I see something sticking up. You never know if this far back this time of the year it could be a little bit of anything but I took it up over the tree with a draw and you can hit this on this hole you can actually play um, a cut out to the left side and get the same results but I just feel like I'm um, hitting that big draw today I'm nailing it all right so we'll go ahead and look over here because I took over that tree and then I saw I start to draw off so that ball should be anywhere in this little first cut down here there it go. Just like I thought. That's the trees. I took it over right there. Perfect. I got a room with a view. I took it over that tree, those trees, with a big draw. And here we go, sitting right here. Perfect. Perfect. So I hit a tremendous shot, but I double crossed myself. So I'm gonna go right down this fairway. Oh, I'm glad I didn't hit it. See, I thought this group right here teamed up, but they actually didn't. Wow. Oops. What? Well, you know what? They both got on yellow shirts and things like that. So it threw me off. I thought I had a clear green, but I didn't have a clear green. Well, well that's, you know, I'm so glad I, I double-crossed myself then at the end of the day because the worst thing you want to do is hit somebody with a golf ball out here. Okay, right over there. I see you. Thank you, buddy. All right.
Okay, let's go see it. Okay, so I was down here in the valley and I couldn't see the ball, but the people on the tee box said it was a good shot. Uh, it didn't bounce off like I wanted it to bounce off, but it'd be okay right there for, um, for birdie. So I'm not gonna complain about that. Double cross myself on that one. All right, so here we go. So we'll set this up for the birdie and see if we can get it close over here. Nice par. Take care. Keep grinding. Remember, never give up out here. The whole thing about this game is to grind it out, stay with yourself, give yourself a lot of critical data, and work through it. Grind these pars out. They're going to add up at the end of the round. Grind these pars out. Take care. Four hundred twenty-seven yard par four, water up the entire right-hand side. Um, what they call canals at the left-hand side. So you must hit the fairway on this one. Absolutely striped it right down the center. So this hole is visually intimidating to some people because they know you have the canal it's on the left, which are like, you know, swamp lands. And then on the right, you have this all the way up the whole right hand side. So you're damned if you do, you're damned if you don't. But these are the times when you just got to drill down and know that you've done the practice with your purposeful practice on the team. So this is nothing. You just come out, give yourself critical data, and then pull the shot off. It's water down this whole side and over there, you see where those trees are? That's a canal, a creek, a swamp land more or less that um, runs up through there. It's marshland, that's what they call it, marshland. So I mean, I, I, I striped this ball right down the center. And the fairways are not that large out here. So I striped it right down the center. I mean, literally right down the center. Nice controlled swing. I didn't try to swing out my shoes. I made sure I had a good shoulder turn and I just pulled the shot off. Okay, remember that power comes from being efficient. The more efficient we become, the better power we're going to have. The more I learn about connective tissue, the fascia, mobility training, speed training, the better instructor and the better player I also become. If you want to learn these type of things, contact me. My instruction is going to an entirely different level. My goal is for my clients to play better golf using 20%, at least 20% less effort. I'm doing it right now. 
my swing has smoothed out so much because of the things I've learned and the things I incorporated. So if you want to learn, give me a call, email me, and let's take it to the next level. Remember, power comes from playing golf more efficiently. I'm using fascia now. I'm using mobility. I do my speed training. These are the things that I work on. Then I give myself critical data. Like right here, I'm going to take this one a low trajectory out of the bottle window and have this ball check up. Not bad shot at all. name of the game using the tools that you've built on the range using the tools that you've built doing your purposeful practice all of that is going to make you a better golfer you're going to be more prepared and this is the, like I say the marshland up this left hand side I want to catch this real quick so you can't play on the left and I showed you what's on the right it's just the way it is it's out here in Louisiana see marshlands marshlands and then all that rain we've been having and that goes up the whole left side of the fairway and on the right you saw the the lake all right I thought I got this um, put this ball back here on this back tier but I didn't so now I have a little breaking putt I need to worry about but we're gonna make it happen Okay, I'm just rolling those pars out today. You get those days like that, where no matter how much you grind, how hard you play, you're just spitting out pars. Par, 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 par. But I'll take that any day. This is a good round so far. Take care. Again, I'm playing with the power builds, Grand Slams from the 80s. Keep grinding. 184 yard, force carry, par three, power build, Grand Slam. Five iron. Beautiful shot. Absolutely beautiful shot. Did you see the ball flight? That ball went right toward the bunker and crawled over it. I am, um, these power builds are the real deal. I picked them up several years ago, had never been played, never been hit, and I put a bid on them on eBay, and um, the guy accepted the bid. And I just put them in the shed, you know, and didn't worry about them. Played them one or two times, you know, but really didn't, um, you know, think about them. Look at that. That's the marshlands out here. So you got to be careful. You just can't walk anywhere, you know. So be careful if you ever come play golf in, um, in Louisiana because we got everything out here. I mean, we got gators, you know, and then you got the swamps over here. You know, I mean, it's a tough area out here you know so I took it right over this bunker this green is a little spotty right here too 
See the water behind the green? It's the pan kicked over here. Hit a really nice shot. All right, let's see if we can make a birdie, man. I've, I've had chances for birdies all day today and haven't been able to sink one. I would like to get this one. Finally, thank you. Finally sank a birdie putt. All those pars, 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 pars. Finally got a birdie. Hey, keep grinding. 409 yard par four. If that one ran, I got a hold of that one. But I hope I didn't block myself out on the left hand side. That was the shot shape to hit. But I may have um, blocked myself out. But that's okay. If I block myself out, I'd rather block myself out with a draw shot versus a fade for me. Now, some people rather have that fade block out because they can still hit their shot. With me, if I'm blocked out, I'd rather be blocked out on the left side. And I can throw the ball out toward the right side of the green and try to um, shape it back that way, especially with the, the right to left wind. The wind is actually helping. But when you get over these hills, you get to see where your ball really is. And it like it was running like a, see, sitting right here. Good shot. All right, so I can just take this ball right at it. But I'm going to play the wind. The wind is kicking up now. I got a little downhill lie. Slope, not a lie. All right. Did you see that? I kind of, ah, that happens. I didn't take into account my slope. I have a downhill slope leaning to the left. So you have to remember, whatever way that hill is sloping, somebody left the ball out here. It's a practice ball, put in the shag bag. There you go. Yeah, whichever way that um the, the, the ground is sloping, it's gonna actually put that same slope on your ball. And I didn't take that into account. If I would've took that into account, I would've actually aimed this ball out toward the right front quadrant, especially with the wind. So that was just poor critical data on me. See, here we go again, the importance of critical data. Hindsight is 20, what did they say? Hindsight is 20, 20, whatever. Okay, so now I'm by here behind the green. So we're going to pitch it on and now start processing the shot we're dealing with. So let that shot go. All right, there go the ball. And we're going to set up a shot here. So we're going to let that shot go because that shot is over. Okay. There we go. So I'll do a up and run. We can uh, get it up there close. I'm gonna bump and run with an eight iron. Gotta land it on the most predictable. 
predict of a part of the green. Shot. We go over here. It's not a bad shot. So I, I, um, I gripped all the way down with the eight iron and just did um, landed on the most predictable part of the green. I played the ball in the center of my stance and then the wind's in my face a little bit and that slowed it down a little bit. But I thought that ball would check up a little further. I mean, would actually roll out. I put myself in a predicament right here. I have to save this par. After hitting such a, a good tee shot. Okay, that's a bogey. This stopped on his, I mean, it just stopped rolling right at the cup.